Hello, I'm Kelly Degnan, and I'm the Chargé d'Affaires at the U.S. Embassy in Rome. It's a real honor for me to address such a distinguished group. I would like to thank the Center of Excellence for Stability Police Units for offering this course on gender protection. The timing is particularly auspicious. International Women's Day on March 8th is a chance to renew our determination to advance peace and security through the promotion of women's rights. Women, peace, and security, three words that intersect at the heart of the landmark UN Security Council Resolution 1325, adopted in 2000. It's hard to believe that not so long ago, female diplomats in the US Foreign Service had to resign if they married. Women now account for 44% of the US diplomatic workforce. And although the US Department of State was established in 1789, more than 200 years passed before a woman shattered the glass ceiling to serve as U.S. Secretary of State. I had the personal privilege of working with Secretary Madeleine Albright as her special assistant. She is still a wonderful role model who paved the way for Secretaries Condoleezza Rice and Hillary Clinton. President George W. Bush underscored the depth of our commitment when he declared that America would lead by defending respect for women and the non-negotiable demands of human dignity. Our contributions to peace and security reflect this commitment. The United States is the largest provider of assessed contributions to UN peacekeeping operations. And we are fortunate that we and the UN can count on our tremendous partnership with Italy. Italy ranks among the top 10 donors and Italian women and men serve with distinction in missions across the globe. The Carabinieri especially have demonstrated outstanding leadership in training police to keep the peace where it is needed most. With their famous professionalism, expertise, and discipline, the Carabinieri are some of the best ambassadors Italy can deploy on the important task we all share, promoting peace and security. This year, the United States and Italy bear a special responsibility on the Security Council, but the vision set forth in the Charter of the United Nations unites all of our countries every year as it has for over 70 years. The UN understands well that police is inextricably linked with equality between women and men. I applaud COESPU for developing curricula with a focus on gender protection, and I'm very proud of the support the US government provides to this center of excellence. Thank you, General Barbano and Colonel Gallegos, and thanks to all of you for your service. The integration of gender in our training is significant, but not enough. Your work in the field is what we all need to construct an enduring peace and a secure world. Thank you again for your commitment to protecting women's rights on March 8th and every other day of the year. Thank you.